Let's do it now. Turn up the volume nice and loud. Because we are controlling transmission with dance beats and r and You're in the mix with Lil Drummer Girl. With your host, Dawn Marie. In the mix. In the mix. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you guys, it's Dawn Marie Mutel from the Little Drummer Girl. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode. Today, I'm going to talk about something that's really, really important for your business, and that is your marketing calendar. I used to think, you know, what's the big whoop? I don't get it. You know, okay, yeah, marketing is important for business, but being in many businesses over the years, as far back as Polygram Diversified Entertainment, where they were doing all the marketing, which was the merchandising division of Polygram Records, I really learned the importance of what it takes to market an artist. Now, I worked before that, I worked for MCA Music Publishing, where I was doing acquisitions and I was the sampling queen, that's what they called me. I had started in this new business called Sampling, and it was all new and, um, I was dealing with probably 100 deals a week, and it was insane, but I loved it, especially when I got to uh, do a licensing song with Michael Jackson's um, Human Nature song with uh, SWV, which was Sisters with Voice. And then, you know, just being able to administer his catalog with the Beatles and everything else that he owned, it was pretty impressive, and it was just such a joy. But... It all comes down to, you know, going back to your marketing, it's really important as an artist, an entrepreneur, or any kind of business that you're in, it really doesn't matter. But as artists, it's even more important because there's so much competition out there and it's such a very noisy marketplace right now. How do you find a way to stand out? And marketing is going to be one of the first and quickest ways that you can get your name out there. So for instance, Uh, social media, right? We didn't have social media 20 years ago, and it was really tough to try to get bands in front of people that needed to be seen, right? Because, I mean, you could only do so much, and if you had a promoter or a manager, speaking of managers, if you don't have a manager, you may want to try to find a manager or somebody who can manage you. It could even be a family member if you can trust them and you can work well together with them because you got to remember, you know, family and money sometimes doesn't always work out. But there have been many famous musicians and artists out there who have used their family as their managers. Somebody that you know is going to protect your back and watch your back and and look out for your best interests. And your marketing calendar is really crucial. So what I want you to do is to go out and get yourself a calendar that's going to be strictly just for your marketing. You can use your other calendar for gigs and things like that or whatever, but this is going to be a separate calendar And in the show notes, I have a link to just a daily planner, that uh, seven-day daily planner that you can print out and reuse. And I put a couple of marketing quotes on there, but um, it's important to write everything down. I have been writing lists of things to do, especially since the early 90s when I was working for MCA Music, because back then I basically had a computer, but everything was done by fax. And I had to write down everything because if I didn't write it down, I know I was going to forget it. And when you're working with a hundred deals at a time, things could get kind of messed up very quickly. So I really relied on writing notes on all the paperwork on the deals and things like that. But going back to, I don't want to stray from the, the marketing calendar, but for your marketing calendar, I want you to look ahead because the year is almost over, but you can still get some stuff done before it's over. So I want you to put down the things that you see and that you envision for yourself for your business, whether you're an artist, a musician, an entrepreneur, a performer, whatever it may be. I want you to write down over the next three weeks, some new things that you can do that can get you in front of the people that you need to get in front of. So let's say you're looking to get in front of a label, right? Because without a label, I mean, not that you can't self-publish yourself these days, because you can, and you can be successful. There's a lot of bands that are doing that. But you still want to maybe get a label because they're going to give you that money, right? You want to have the money to record your songs or what have you. So maybe it's about getting your demos together, getting everything in place. That takes time and it takes money. So maybe you have some friends that have some recording equipment and you can do some studio sessions together. But you definitely want to block out 
time on your calendar, on your marketing calendar, that you're going to be working on just marketing items. And I want you to look at the future for next year because that's just around the corner. So if you look at January, February, March, and you can say, okay, the first quarter of the year, you're going to maybe have some people interview you, get up your YouTube channel if you don't have one already, get your social media platforms together because you know, an A music company is going to look at your social media and say, okay, they want to see if you have following as if like if you're an author, an author, they want to, they don't just give you a book publishing deal anymore. They want to see, oh, do you have 10,000 followers? How many books can you sell? Now, how many books they can sell because they don't want to pay for that. So these are some things I want you to think about and put in place in your business. So I want you to start with the daily planners because that daily planner is going to help you focus and clarify exactly what you need to do. And what I like to do is I like to take a big goal and then chunk it down into smaller steps that I can work on every day and every week and every month. And it may not seem like you're getting anything done until you get a few weeks out or a few months out and you realize, oh my gosh, I just did all these things. And now you get to see the big picture. But it's overwhelming and there's a lot going on and I totally get it. And that's why I say to use the daily planner so that you can write down the people you need to meet, the phone calls you have to make, the faxes or the emails you have to send, or the research you have to do, or the people you need to contact, whatever it might be. You may even need to be getting some new musical instruments and that's going to cost money. And I know the business of music is very expensive. I, as a drummer, know firsthand when I first started out drumming, I, you know, was looking around at sets and they were pretty expensive. And that was over, you know, 25 years ago, more than that. It's over 30 years ago. But, you know, I got to know some people in the industry, in the music stores, and they would give me discounts. And believe it or not, those discounts really helped. And I would tell people that I played. And I remember one of the first uh, free drum sets I got was from a neighbor that I was working with at a uh, real estate developer company. He was working for Studer Revox. Thank you, Jim Williamson. And he had a Rototom set and he gave it to me for free. It made such a difference to have something to play on until I got my set. But meeting people and telling everybody that you know what you're doing, what you're looking to do, they may have some insight or some contacts or so they can help push you and get you what you're looking for. So don't be afraid to speak out and talk to people, especially strangers. Sometimes, you know, you're in a store, you're on a plane and you start talking to the person next to you. You never know who they know or what they do. So I used to be very shy and it was really intimidating for me to just start a conversation with a total stranger. Now that's another story, but only because I pushed myself many, many years to become more open to talking to strangers, to become more open to having those types of discussions. Whereas before, you know, I was just a really shy, intimidated person. So I want you to think about your marketing calendar as your Bible for your business so that you can stay on the path to get to where you're going and to reach your goals and to become successful. Because as I mentioned earlier, it is super loud out there and there are no shortage of people who are looking to become famous musicians, artists, entrepreneurs, and what have you. Even for myself, it's really busy. It's like, oh my gosh, I have so much competition, but fear not because, you know, there's always room for more because I want nothing but the success that you deserve for your hard work. But let me tell you something. If you don't work hard, you're probably not going to get it. So don't be disappointed and think, oh, well, why didn't I get this? What you put in is what you get out of something. And that's with anything. It's with relationships. It's with your job. It's really with everything in life. You know what they say in the Bible, right? You reap what you sow. So start reaping some great things so that you can get those rewards. Well, that's all I'm going to leave you with today. And I want you to make sure that you go down to the show notes and you print out a copy of that PDF, which is a seven sheet daily planner and make several printouts so that you have copies for every week and get started and get that calendar and start writing down the things you need to do to get your marketing in order. If you like this episode, please share the love. I really appreciate it as this is an ad free podcast. And I really, really, really would love it if you did that. 
And don't forget to stop at www.littledrummergirl.com. That's L-A-L drummergirl.com and sign up for the ultimate travel guide where you will never leave another thing behind. But not only that, if you put your name on that list, I have a few new things coming down the pike that I'm really excited about. One of them is a book that I'm launching and a couple of online programs. And you may be interested in those as well because they have to do with your industry. So please sign up at www.littledrummergirl.com. And if you like this episode, please share it with somebody that you know that might enjoy it and get some value from it. And thank you again for stopping by. And remember, it's never too late to begin the life of your dreams and leave a trailblazing behind you. So rock on and rock out, and I'll catch you on the flip side.